So I wanted to address the one bit of criticism slash counter argument to my Pokemon theory, Sun and Moon is the climactic ending, the way I debunked that theory. That theory is from Noggin, and again, I have to emphasize that I don't hate Noggin. There is no bad blood between me and Noggin. Check out his theory before watching this if you have time. But essentially, my debunking of that theory boiled down to capitalism. It didn't address any of his points of in-game stuff because the game's not out. Now, I said that because Pokemon is ranking in the money, it won't be rebooted anytime soon or ended anytime soon. I said that the potential for a reboot is possible, but not likely because companies do not like to make new characters. They like to reuse assets. Instead of marketing a new character, putting a lot of time, money, and effort into a new character that may or may not be thrown away with the generation that they're introduced in, Nintendo and other companies like to reuse old characters, established characters. That's why Ash still exists. That's why Team Rocket still chases him. When's the last time you saw or heard of the Professor from Generation 2, you know? Things like that. Just think of an obscure character that was in a whole generation season think when was the last time you saw them i have the numbers for pokemon and i have the numbers for multiple game series and things up here we're going to be looking at this stuff and we're going to find out if pokemon has really been on the decline or if it has been leveling itself out quite a bit over time red green blue and yellow these are four different games please take note of that so that's a lot of different variations of game same game essentially and you have 47 million being sold here we are and we have 120 million okay so that's almost a little bit over one fourth all right keep that number in your head we have pokemon gold silver and crystal once again compatible with game boy and we have 30 million and that is roughly about one fourth coming down through here you can see that things start to slump you can see coming off the 40 million to the 22nd million that's about half the sales and then coming from here we can see that that stays the same if we go back and we look at the nintendo ds here 25 million and we look at the list of uh, game consoles best selling 154 million so that is roughly one sixth and it keeps going the same amount, one sixth to one fifth, one sixth to one fifth, uh, maybe one seventh at times. Because let's compare this to the flagship. We have Mario. Mario did pretty damn well in the beginning, but you look at the sequel here. That's that's not even half. And if you look back at Pokemon, first game and then the second game, that is half. That's over half. You know, the third main entry. Again, that's about half. So it's doing quite well, to say the least. And then the third game in Super Mario Bros. 3 is not half. We finally reached it at the Super Nintendo one. But that's the last time you'll reach that until you get all the way back down to the DS. And once again, the DS being the second most uh, popular game console with 154 million but the main entries suffer greatly and this is when the Wii was on top of the world and it's only 12 million even Super Mario 64 wasn't that popular with 11 and Super Mario 3D World being the Mario flagship was outsold three times by X and Y and almost three times by just a remake so sales slumps don't automatically translate into a a, the franchise is going to end. It's stagnant. It's still. We're ending it, right? Money talks. We look at Metroid, the same result. You start off strong, and then you end up at half, with the exception of the 3D world that was introduced on the GameCube, which makes a lot of sense, because people wanted to try out the new 3D thing, and it was a good game, so people really enjoyed it. Let's look at Zelda. This is the only streak of games that defies the current of what we have going on of sales declining where the legend of zelda ocarina of time actually goes past its initial sales rate but if we come down here you can see that also twilight princess beats that out and then it slumps down quite a bit kid icarus did very very poorly at only 1.27 million 
Star Fox for VG tar charts right here. Um, you have roughly 4 million, and that was at its height with the N64 version. And then you look at the Wii U version, which pales greatly in comparison. And then you look at the 3DS version, which pales greatly in comparison. Again, not even one-fifth or one-sixth. Uh, to say that Pokemon is going to end because the sales have been slumping is kind of silly to say. Because where this was uh, roughly a, a little under half, maybe 40% uh, of Game Boy owners had a Pokemon game. And then, again, maybe 30 to 20%. But we start to slump down and st stable off at 1 5th to 1 6th, 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 1 5th to 1 6th. Of all owners of the corresponding handheld console owns the corresponding Pokemon games and that's very good for a series because comparing it to other series especially flagship series we can see that that is not what we see here there are only a few exceptions um, like right here this would be one of the few exceptions this would be one of the few exceptions same with this one but you see all of these games and not all of them taper off to a nice rate where it's above one sixth to one fifth of the user install base of that specified hardware plays these type of games. This is all the Nintendo 3DS games. There's a lot of these games, man. And think, think for a moment. Think for a moment. That one-sixth of the owners of the console and one-fifth of the owners of the console chose to buy Pokemon X and Y and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire knowing that there's all of these games that can be selected from that. The Pokemon series is still ranking in quite a bit of cash. They're making a lot of money off of this series, and I don't think they're going to end it anytime soon. For sure not going to end it. But to reboot it, it's still a possibility. It's always a possibility to reboot a game, but highly unlikely with how much money they're making, and it, it's just a very stable, safe bet. Will they make new characters? Will they introduce new features? Yes, absolutely. But to take Ash out, to take the core mechanics out, to completely change everything around and just slap the label Pokemon on it, the public backlash would be so bad on Pokemon if they didn't do it absolutely perfectly. I don't think they would ever recover from that. I don't think it would fix the series. I don't think they would make more money than they currently make. But then I could be wrong, and these are just my thoughts. I'm just discussing this with you. So again, all respect to Noggin with his conspiracy theories and what he finds out about alchemy. I am just addressing the capitalistic monetary side of things. If you guys agree with me, leave me a like down in the comment section below. And I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, and God bless.